Hey everyone, I am Stephanie, aka Stephanie Yells, your food and travel host. I make food review videos and world travel videos, so if you love food and travel, then definitely be sure to subscribe so you can stay in the know. Now right now I'm on vacation in Denver, Colorado, and in this video, I'm going to show you three pho spots to check out and give you my honest review of each one. And I'm going to answer the question, is pho in Denver actually good? And I'm going to give you my honest perspective as a Vietnamese food vlogger. So whether I like them, I hate them, or I think that they're mediocre, I'm going to give you my honest review of each spot. If you want to know if pho in Denver is actually good, does it actually pass the Vietnamese test, then this video is for you. So come on, let's go warm up with some pho. So we are at Pho 95. A small bowl of pho here is $10, and I got the small number two, which is the pho ba yin, or meatball. So what I always like to do is to test the broth first. The broth is looking pretty light, so let's see how it is. This broth is really, really light. This doesn't really pass the Vietnamese test. So we've got to add in our garnishes, a bit of lime to give it that nice flavor. And just FYI, traditionally, Vietnamese people put the sauces on the side. A lot of people like to put sauce in the broth. Now, you can do whatever you want, but if you do that, it really taints the broth. Okay, so let's try the pho from Pho 95. It's a big old bowl of decent. Oh man. The noodles themselves are fine, but the broth is kind of weak. So it's definitely pleasant on a cold, snowy day like today, but is it Vietnamese? Uh, not really. Now let's try the meatball, the ba yin. So dip it in the sauce. The meatball is just okay. And so far, I think pho 95 is okay. Maybe it's okay for Denver, uh, but from a Vietnamese perspective, I think pho 95 doesn't exactly hit the mark. Now we are at Pho Dui, also on Federal Boulevard. This place was on Denver's top 100 restaurants list. So let's see if a Vietnamese food vlogger thinks that it lives up to its reputation. Okay, so I ordered a small number one. And holy shit, it is so small. This is like true Asian size. But we're gonna try the broth first. And look at this, this is a much nicer color than Pho 95. The broth is definitely beefier than Pho 95, but not as beefy as I would like it and it's very cinnamon and cardamom forward. So let's try the pho from Pho Dui. So far, noodles are pretty good. Now we're gonna try one of my favorite meats, gao, which is fatty flank. The meat quality is actually pretty nice. So my final thoughts on Pho Dui. Let's start with the good. I think the meat quality is pretty good. I like that the staff here is all Vietnamese versus the other shops that I went to where my servers were actually Caucasian. And as for the broth, it definitely could be better, but it was at least better than the other spots. Now let's start with what I don't like. I don't like the small ass portions, especially when a small is $11.95 here. But then again, we are in Denver, a town that doesn't have that many Vietnamese people. So I think for Denver standards, Pho Dui is pretty good. And for our last stop in this Pho in Denver video, we are at Pho 79. It's often said that Pho restaurants with a number in the title are absolutely bussin', but there's only one real way to find out is to try for yourself. So Pho 79 was so awesome to let us actually take a tour of their kitchen and see how their Pho is made. So let's check that out first. Cook with the meatball overnight in like great to 10 hours. Wow! Oh my god! That's the best! Yep, so that's the main thing we have. Beef noodle soup, but normally we have the noodle, okay? Bánh phở? Yeah, bánh phở. So the bánh phở is cooked with the... Uh, we want to dip the bowl in the hot noodle, I mean hot water, and make it more and more hot.
smell good and everything mm -hmm. like that. Wow. And that's it. And that is how they make their pho dakbit. And it's right here. So this is the large combination pho at Pho 79. And for a large, it's only $10.95. This is the best value that I've seen so far. So Pho 79 has been serving Denver for 30 years. First, we're going to taste their 30-year-old broth recipe. Mm. Hands down the best broth in this video. Ooh, it is very, very beefy. And you can tell because they actually use beef bones and beef brisket in their broth. Mmm, those other two spots I mentioned in this video don't even f***ing matter. Wow. Oh, this is fantastic. And now we're gonna try their meats. This is the flank, so let's check it out. Oh, that is awesome. I am in love with the pho here at Pho 79. This is the best in Denver, for sure. The whole staff is Vietnamese. The way that they make their broth is Vietnamese. The other two spots in this video don't even matter. You gotta go to Pho 79 for sure. Now the owners did mention that they are gonna change the name very soon. They're soon gonna change the name to Miss Saigon. And they are gonna offer more menu items as well, such as Bum Ba Hui, which is a spicy beef noodle soup. So if you're from Denver, definitely check out Miss Saigon once they remodel and change their name. All right, everyone, so that is it for this Pho in Denver video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. You already know Pho 79 is the spot to go to. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe, especially for more food and world travel content. Again, I'm your food and travel host, Stephanie Yos. Stay tuned for more food and travel videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.